All right, new little experiment here on perimeter defense. I wouldn't call this an intruder alert. I would call this a white trash claymore. What I've done is I've taken the hardware off of a mouse trap, just a mouse trap, not a rat trap, and I've transplanted it off of that cheap balsa wood that it comes on onto a more hefty piece of board. Then, I don't know if you can tell here, I have taken a machine, uh, machine screw, is that the correct terminology? Machine screw, and I have cut it off short, then kind of rounded it out, and made basically a firing pin out of it. And right now it's drying, I have JB welded it onto the mousetrap hardware. And what I did is, I, is this machine screw is a um, regular slot screwdriver uh, head so that it fit, I had to waller it out a little bit, but it fit on to that wire. And now, as I said, I've JB welded it. Um, it's drying. And I've also drilled a three quarter inch hole right behind the uh, where the machine screw now firing pin hits and I discovered that 12 gauge shotgun shells do not fit a three quarter inch hole and they don't fit a seven eighths inch hole it's kind of like Goldilocks one's too little and one's too big but I found that 16 gauge does fit a three quarter inch hole now I know you're thinking 16 gauge who the hell has that well I have one box of 16 gauge uh, bird shot that somebody gave me and no I don't have a 16 gauge shotgun um, I don't know who makes those anymore but I doubt anybody does really and um, I just held on to them because I can't see throwing anything away so anyway I discovered that 16 gauge would fit into a three quarter inch hole so what I'm doing is I'm making like I said it's not an intruder alert like I showed you before this is an actual defensive device and I'll tell you right now I am not suggesting you go make these and put these up what I am suggesting is you may want to know how to make these and have the stuff that if you ever need to make these you can I, uh, I don't claim to have invented this when I was in the Marine Corps, we were doing some drug interdiction uh, in Hawaii, and we once ran into some booby traps on a fence line, and basically they had, they had drilled holes through the, um, the fence posts, stuck shotgun shells in there, and they had set up rat traps. So I stole this from that idea. I'm not sure exactly how they did it. I don't really recall what they used for firing pin. I don't know if the thing would have worked. We saw it. We disabled it. Da, da, da. But anyway, this is the basic idea, and what I'm going to do is let this JB weld dry, and then we're going to go out here, and we're going to try it and see if it works. The idea is, if you're in a final protective fire type mode, if you know that that's bad guys coming at you, coming in the wire, this is a very small, very white trash version of a Claymore. All right. All right I have it set up here for testing um, since the I showed the last clip I got rid of the little uh, yellow uh, trip and put two U nails here and I've gone with a straight cotter pin type uh, release because that was just I don't know if I got this piece offset when I transferred it from the original piece of wood to this board but the thing was just hair trigger and I didn't trust it so I changed over to this now what I'm going to do is um, I've got it screwed to, to a fence post facing out into the swamp nothing out there uh, I've taken the BBs out so we're going to be effectively firing blanks and what I'll do is I'll set the camera up and then I'll fire it from a 50 foot lanyard the way we used to do in artillery and we'll see how it goes Huh. Huh. 
16 gauge round. We're going to force 12 gauge round in there. Now there's nothing in that. There's no powder. I took the powder out. That's just going to be the primer. That worked. Huh. Okay. So let's let's assume that that 16 gauge ammo was no good. All right. That worked. 